And her wand looks... Ooh. Hey, Harry Potter fans! Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Clutcher channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today we are checking out nine new Wizarding Wands from the Noble Collection. These are the special released wands from characters that we meet and see in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. So these nine wands, these nine wands right here, I have not seen in person. I've seen them on the screen, I've seen pictures of them, but never held them in my hands, never actually seen the wands with my eyes because I wanted to save my first look for you guys. So we're gonna look at Jacob Kowalski, Anton Vogel, Tao, Lally Hicks, Vicencia Santos, Fisher, Credence, Aberforth Dumbledore, and Helmut. Now I have to be honest, I only know about half of who these characters are and an idea of who the others are, but I'm excited to see their wands nonetheless. So Mr. Jacob Kowalski, his wand is on the top. He also has a really small wand box compared to the others. Maybe it's because he can't actually use his wand to cast magic. I don't know. But we're gonna start with his wand. So here's the wand box. It's black, it's simple. On the end there it says Jacob Kowalski. And Jacob Kowalski is one of the main characters in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And he is the baker who is now married to Queenie Goldstein. All right, here we go. Here's his wand. Now this is interesting because we have a Noble Collection wand that looks like one of their collector wands that come in a box that has like a kind of a plastic form. This one, is kind of a mashup between the two. It looks like a collector's wand box and an Ollivander box replica box, which I think is what this is gonna be, where it has the ribbon as well as the lining. Yeah, totally. For comparison, it has the ribbon and then it's lined in velvet. This one doesn't have ribbon, but it is lined in velvet, so that's cool. I like this a lot. You know, when they first released his wand, I was like, eh, that's kind of weird looking. And maybe it's because it looked really short but this is a really nice, decent sized wand and has some incredible detail on it. So the thing I love most about this is it looks like they just plucked a branch off of a tree. We don't see a lot of Wizarding World wands that look like that. They're either very straight or very polished, but this one really does look like I went outside, grabbed a branch off of the tree, and kind of carved a handle into this branch. I don't know what kind of wood this is. Is this called snake wood? Either way, it's really cool. It has this really nice striped pattern on it. Love the lighter brown color on this. And then some incredible detail and shading towards the tip of the wand itself. The handle is simple yet a little elegant because it's curved and rounded yet straight in points, but also is a little kind of haphazardly done. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but it's it's like a mixture of simple and elegant. So this is a cool wand, feels good in the hand, has a really nice weight to it. I thought this was just gonna be a, a really light wand. Now, Noble Collection wands are great when it comes to material, but there's something about this one that just feels a little bit more high quality than the high quality that we're used to from Noble Collection. So I'm very impressed. So we were talking about the different wand options you can purchase from Noble Collection. Let me just say right now, I highly, highly recommend that you spend a few dollars more to get the Ollivander box replica. So the cost of kind of the basic wand from Noble Collection that comes in a wand box is $37.50. And that comes with, you know, the collector box as well as like a name tag, which is cool to have. But for $1.50 more, $39, you can get this really nice display. This fantastic velvet cushioning that holds the wand in place. This just looks so much more impressive than their collector boxes. But then again, it all comes down to preference. My preference is the $39 one. And again, it's $1.50 more. So I would highly recommend you go with one of these. Now, the thing with these boxes is not all of the wands are sold with the replica boxes. A lot of them are only available in that less expensive collector box. So next up we have Anton Vogel. And I'm gonna look up who Anton Vogel was in Secrets of Dumbledore. I know I'll recognize him right away. Oh, okay, so he's the German Minister for Magic. So let's take a look at his wand. He's got like a fuchsia, is that the color? Fuchsia? A fuchsia box, like a pink purple box. And his wand. All right, so it's a mixture of gold and silver and then wood detailing. I love gold and silver on wands. I think it's just stunning. And the handle almost looks like a, a pillar. It's a very strong wand, something that you would see from a Minister for Magic. 
magic. Very simple shaft of the wand, unlike Jacob's wand. This is just more polished looking. And then the handle itself, I like the shape of it. It is quite elegant, masculine, but there's something I don't love about this and I can't really figure out what it is. It might be the fact that the gold and silver just, it looks painted. I mean, it probably would be painted on a wand itself. I mean, it's a very beautiful wand. It doesn't feel great in your hand, which I don't often say because I think a lot of times wands do feel really good in your hand. This one just kind of presses in the wrong places. So that is Mr. Anton Vogel's wand. If you're new to the Potter Collector community, I want to say a quick welcome to you. We're happy to have you here. And if you are a returning Potter Collector community member, welcome back. So next up is Fisher. And Fisher's wand box is like this minty green almost. Ooh, that's cool. This is cool. That is cool. So the handle itself looks like each ring is covered in leather almost. It doesn't have that feel, it's definitely painted on, but from far away it looks like it's covered in leather. And then the silver on here, it's like an antique gold actually. So it, it makes it look and feel a little bit more antique and aged. There's a really nice pattern on the shaft of the wood that almost gives a tiger eye effect. Really, really cool. Almost like it's not made from wood, that it's like made from some sort of stone. I love of that handle, that detail is fantastic. And Fisher in The Secrets of Dumbledore is the witch that works for the German Ministry for Magic. This is a stunning wand. That's the one to beat in my opinion. What's cool about these wands and collecting wands is, you know, each one is different and everyone has a different opinion on them. Everyone likes something different. Next up is Tao or Tao's wand and Dao or Tao was the Chinese Minister for Magic in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. One of the things I liked about The Secrets of Dumbledore was that we got to see different ministers for magic and just different locations within the wizarding world. So I'm guessing this is gonna have some, obviously some nods to Chinese culture. This is not at all what I was expecting. I don't even know what this is. It's very, very unique, insanely unique. It has this interesting curve to it. like. One, two, three, four sections pieced together with these metal brackets. This is really, really interesting. So in the hand, see that curve there? Very cool. Like it was made from different types of wood. Oh, you see those metal brackets that we talked about. And then the handle is in a really interesting wavy carved design. And like, this is the wand that all the ministers for magic have used since the Chinese ministry was opened. Wow, that's cool. It's not my favorite wand, but I feel like this would make a really good display wand. Huh, interesting. And I think my favorite part of this is that curvature because we We've got that kind of wavy, curvy handle, which goes into kind of the pieced together curved shaft of the wand. This is, this is really cool. Next up, we have the Wand of Credence, and a lot of people were excited to have this wand. This was like a shocker at the end of Crimes of Grindelwald, when Grindelwald gives Credence a wand and says that you're a Dumbledore. Like, what? Mind blown. Couldn't wait for the next one. And now you can own that wand which is extremely geometric and has metal detail on it. Super geometric wand. So the handle itself goes right into the shaft of the wand. There's no separation at all. And then again at the handle, there's this geometric shape with that metal detailing. Feels amazing in the hand. Like it's not gonna fall out, has an incredible weight to it. Really, really nice. Simple, black, like if this was on a rotating stand or something, like it would look really cool because each side of it just reflects the light. I love that metal detailing too. All right, Miss Lally Hicks. Now this wand, prepare yourself. This is detailed out the wazoo. This one's a holy moly cannoli. We've got a brown box here. Wow, holy moly cannoli, incredible. It's like an ancient Egyptian mermaid. Oh my goodness, this is phenomenal. Look at that detail. Every scale on the mermaid's body, her tail is kind of flipped towards the back. We have this Egyptian goddess almost. Absolutely beautiful. I like that the shaft of the wand is a little bit more roughed up wood. It's very straight and smooth, but you can see a lot more of the wood texture in it than some of the other ones. And then that handle, that is spectacular. Every scale is shown there, and it's almost like the mermaid's on a little pedestal. And then the detail of that face, and the head, and the hair. That's a piece of art right there. That's really nice. Next up is Aberforth Dumbledore, Albus Dumbledore's younger brother. And his wand is in this gray box. This thing is heavy. Man, is this heavy, wow. Huh, there's a lot about this wand. Interesting, like I feel like this wand has a story to it. So for one, we've got the handle and then the shaft and they're kind of pieced together. Aberforth has pieced himself back together with 
kind of the, the splitting up and the loss in his family. Two different colors of wood. This thing is heavy. This is really, really heavy. I'm actually surprised at how heavy this wand is. It has some great substance and the paint job on this is excellent. I would have never guessed that this was not wood if I wasn't holding it and if it was just a little bit further away from my face. Wow, incredible. I love the handle here because it shows a bunch of different designs. There's kind of the more roughed up hammered wood look which goes into a more classic wand handle and then that attaches to the shaft, but it's almost like it was snapped and then pieced back together. Again, I can't say enough how heavy this is. Very surprising and a very unique and interesting wand. I wonder if this is what Aberforth Dumbledore's wand looked like in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, if they used the same wand. Vicencia Santos, who was the Brazilian Minister for Magic, as well as the Supreme Mugwump, of the International Confederation. And her wand looks, ooh, that's cool. It's really cool, but it makes me sad that this isn't actually fabric. I think Dolma Collection did a fantastic job making it look like fabric. Wow, that's really nice. So the wand looks like it's it's wrapped up in this woven fabric, and then the wood itself is this really nice red wood. Is this like that Brazilian red wood? This is like a very simple wand, but almost gives you like a homey feel. Very motherly almost. I mean, she's the Supreme Mugwump, so she is holding the highest office that you can hold within the International Confederation, but it feels very motherly. So it kind of fits. She's like the mother of the International Confederation. Really cool. And this is something that we've not seen from the Noble Collection before. Obviously they make replicas of the, the ones that we see in the movies. This kind of style and pattern and carving we've not seen before from the Noble Collection, so it's, it's cool to see. I don't love the paint job on the, the wood shaft itself, but the handle is phenomenal. All right, the last wand is Helmut. And I don't know who Helmut is. Oh, okay, it's him. He's an Auror for the German Ministry of Magic and uh, Gellert Grindelwald, the Alliance. So he is the one that was coming after Jacob? He's like running after Jacob and Lally Hicks. She cast the charms on the, the books. She's running up the books, running up the books, and she was reaching out and she grabbed him and then they apparated. So that is the German Auror who we're talking about. But he has a light brown, yellowish box and his wand. Ooh, looks like there's some ancient runes on here. It's a very thin wand. It feels a little bit like it could just slip out of your hand. There's some painted on metal detailing on the end of the handle, as well as the separation from the handle to the rest of the wand. And we have multiple tones of brown in here. The wand handle has like a speckled look, and then those metal detail pieces are a bronze color. And then carved into the top of the handle, we have a bunch of ancient runes. Very simple shaft to the wand, really thin, it's very, very thin. Not my favorite, but unique. So those are the Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore released wands by the Noble Collection. If you're a wand collector, I know you're probably thinking, I've got to get those if you don't already have them. And if you're a wand collector that doesn't collect all of them, hopefully you see one of these nine wands and say, oh, I would love to add that to my collection. You can check the description down below for links to each of these wands, and I would love to hear which one was your favorite. As you know, Fisher's wand was my favorite in this lot, but very closely followed by Lally Hicks and Jacob's wand. That was a shocker. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can join the Potter Collector community elsewhere on Instagram, Twitter, and now Discord. We have an amazing group of people on the Potter Collector Discord server and would love to have you join. And if you would like to explore the Potter Collector channel membership options, check the description down below or click that button that says join. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?